up in the Black Brilliance on the B side. This Black Brilliant brother's name is Garrett Morgan. He was born in Paris, Kentucky on March 4th, 1877. His mother, Elizabeth Reed, was of Indian and African descent, and his father, Sidney, was the son of a Confederate colonel, John Hunt Morgan. Sidney was formerly enslaved, but earned his freedom in 1863. Morgan moved to Cincinnati, Ohio in his late teens to find work. He only had an elementary school education, but he found a job as a handyman to a wealthy landowner. He would later pay for schooling from a private tutor. He became interested in the sewing machine factories and started to learn the inner workings of the machines and how to fix them. This led to Morgan inventing an improved sewing machine and obtaining a patent. He would open and operate a successful repair business and soon after marry a Bavarian woman named Mary Ann Hassock, who was a professional seamstress. While working at the repair shop, Garrett noticed that woolen fabric was being scorched by the sewing machine needles. This was a common problem in the day because needles were operating at such high speeds. To alleviate the problem, Morgan experienced with a chemical solution to reduce friction created by the needle and noticed the hairs of the cloth would straighten out. He began trying the solution on the fur of the dogs in the neighborhood and eventually tested it on himself. After it worked, he starts selling the cream to black people and opened up the G.A. Morgan Hair Refining Company. This company was tremendously successful and gave him the financial security to pursue other interests. In 1914, Garrett Morgan patented a breathing device that provided a safe breathing experience around smoke, gases, and other pollutants. It was the precursor to the gas mask worn in World War I. This invention earned him the first prize at the Second International Exposition of Safety and Sanitation in New York City. There was some racism in the South that would affect the acceptance of his mask. So when he pitched it to potential buyers, he hired a white actor to pose as the inventor and Morgan would pose as the inventor's sidekick disguised as a Native American man named Chief Mason. This tactic was successful. He began selling them to firefighters and rescue workers. The gas mask success would not last, but wait until you find out why. As the story goes, in 1916, the city of Cincinnati was drilling a new tunnel under Lake Erie for a fresh water supply. The workers hit a pocket of natural gas, which resulted in a huge and trapped workers underground with toxic fumes and dust. Garrett, along with his brother, threw on his mask and entered the tunnel and managed to save two lives and recover four bodies before the rescue was shut down. Despite their heroic efforts, when it got out Morgan was the real inventor and was black, his sales dropped dramatically. Many of the white buyers refused to purchase from a black man, and to top it off, neither he or his brother were recognized for their heroic acts at Lake Erie that day. Garrett was the first black man in Cleveland to own a car, and with his passion to invent, he developed a friction drive clutch. In 1923, after witnessing a carriage accident at a problematic intersection, Morgan invented what he is commonly known for, the three light traffic light. He would eventually sell the rights to General Electric for $40,000. He was a social activist, a member of the NAACP, active in Cleveland Association of Colored Men, donated to Negro colleges, and opened an all-black country club. Morgan lost most of his sight in 1943 due to glaucoma and died in Cleveland, Ohio on July 27, 1963. He was honored by the United States government for his traffic signal invention and they finally acknowledged him as a hero in the Lake Erie rescue. Garrett Morgan was an American treasure. Thank you, brother, for your contributions.